Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And last night we took a question from Hecate's Corner about buying second-hand books. But Hecate's Corner actually had more to the question, and that included second-hand altar items and ritual tools and what I thought of this idea. Now, recently we had a question on the vlog about second-hand clothing. And I expressed the opinion that second-hand clothing probably would not be carrying a strong charge from a previous owner unless it had some special significance or had been used a great deal. Uh, in which case, of course, you would want to cleanse it, but ordinarily I would have thought the charge would naturally dissipate. And I certainly consider this to be the same with second-hand books. Second-hand ritual tools and altar items, on the other hand, having been used for religious purposes, are likely to be carrying a much stronger charge from their previous owner. Do I think that you should take second-hand items? Should you, should you buy them? Should you receive them? Absolutely. Uh, I think it would be a shame to see items go to waste uh, when they can be used. Uh, so I would say, by all means, use second-hand ritual items if you are drawn to them, if you want them, if you're given them. But I would recommend in most cases that you would certainly want to cleanse them. There are, however, exceptions, and that is when it's come from a person who's important or special to you, or to whom uh, you have a tie that you wish to maintain, particularly your ancestors or your teachers or very close friends, you wouldn't necessarily want to cleanse that, and you'd want to keep that connection to their energy. Some of my most prized possessions uh, would be considered second-hand ritual items. For example, we have my grandmother's incense burner. I write about this in my book when I was a small child. I picked this up, not realizing that the legs would be hot, and dropped it, causing it to break. You can see the break here. But I still have it after all these years. It's one of my most prized possessions, and through it I always feel connected to her. Uh, I also have my athame, and uh, so you'll notice my athame has a red handle and a horse's head, and this was given to me by my, by my father, and had previously belonged to my uncle Edward. And that connection is very important to me. Their energy in this is very important to me. I also have, among my ritual tools, this lovely wand, which was made just for me by Lady Rihanna, Rihanna Marie, who does beautiful, beautiful artwork, and of course it has her energy in it. She made it. And that makes it even more special to me, not only as a work of art, but as a connection to a lovely person. Uh, so I think that, uh, that it's completely appropriate uh, to have what I guess we would call second-hand items, items that are previously owned and used by people, especially people who are important to you. But let's face it, unless you've made it yourself, any item that comes to you has come through other people. Generally speaking, again, you'd want to cleanse it unless it's coming from someone really important to you and you want to have their energy in it. So those are my thoughts on this. I hope you find them interesting. And until next time, may you blessed be. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. Followers of my radio program will notice that I moved from my old home on Tuesday nights to my new home on Thursday nights at pagansonight.com. Every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Join me as we discuss the witchness of the why, spiritual teachings, the news, matters of interest, and most of all, questions from our listeners. Join me Thursday nights at pagans tonight.com.